Right, with early voting underway, Donald Trump is now suggesting the voting machines are rigged against him. Add that to the media being rigged and the media polls being rigged. Trump campaign hasn't offered proof of this voting fraud, but this is but is this setting him up for to challenge the election results after the fact? Stephen Zach, you represented Al Gore and Bush v. Gore back in 2000. He is joining us now. Stephen, thank you so much for joining us. Pleasure. So every election, presidential campaigns, they put out their armies of lawyers to watch, to monitor, monitor the polls, to make sure everything is working as well as it can. Um, what in general, because this has absolutely become a focus, what in general are the lawyers looking for when they're in the polls? Well, there are two things they're looking for, one before the election and then after the election. See, Florida has a statute that controls the electoral process. And it requires a automatic recount if the vote is less than a half a percent between the two candidates. And then after that recount, which is an automatic recount and done by machine, there has to be a manual recount if it's less than a quarter percent. So lawyers are looking to see what the actual uh, vote looks like and whether or not the Florida statute is going to come into play. But what, sorry, but what about all this talk, you know, that, that Trump is calling on people to go watch the polls, go keep your eye on the polls. What is allowed there? What does that mean exactly? Well, there, there's poll watchers in all elections, and both parties have poll watchers. Uh, and they're allowed to stand a certain distance from the voting place. They're not allowed to attack the the... A uh, person going to uh, decide on their vote, uh, they have to act in a very proper manner. If not, they're ejected. But they're looking to see whether or not uh, there's any kind of uh, weird thing going on. And what I mean by that is that somebody's trying to vote and being kept from voting. Uh, that is something that is uh, critical to make sure that people know that they uh, have the right to vote. Another thing that has happened in the past is that the polls have shut down with people in line wanting to vote. Uh, I'll tell you something else that happened in an election in Florida not so long ago is it just so happened uh, in a black neighborhood that they decided to do some um, sewage cleaning uh, at the time the people were standing in line. And obviously, uh, the smell from that cleaning was horrific. And what you have is an opportunity to call into the uh, election supervisor. Uh, I was active also in the Kerry campaign, and we had learned from the, you know, the previous uh, Gore campaign. Mm -hmm. Every person had a cell phone, uh, so they could immediately, con every person who's a poll watcher, had the cell phone, so they could immediately contact the election supervisor. And you wanted to make sure that there were enough lines available into the election supervisor to deal with any problem that might come up during the election. You know, and with the rhetoric in this election so far, there are a lot, a lot more people watching these polls very, very closely. But learning what the rules are and what's allowed at these polling stations is, is a very important thing and will be very important going forward. Stephen Zach, thanks so much. Thank you.